In darkness, there is always a source of light. You just have to find it. Obsidian Mask by Scarlet Dawn. The Good News Jamaica team is on a mission to helping you find the light during this COVID-19 pandemic. Hi everyone, my name is Tiffany Janice McLegon for Good News Jamaica. Today, I am happy. I am happy to share three non-profit organizations that have risen to the occasion to help to combat the spread of COVID-19 in Jamaica. The Street People Liberation is a youth-led group which was formed in 2014 by Ashley Ann Broughton. They are geared towards assisting the homeless population in Kingston and Montego Bay, Jamaica. They conduct several feeding projects on public holidays and provide the homeless and shelters with care packages consisting of clothes and toiletries throughout the year. Since the outbreak of COVID-19, they have doubled their efforts to provide care packages for the less fortunate. They recently had a drive where they distributed freshly cooked meals and packages in Montego Bay, all while obeying the protocols and beating the curfew. Secondly, the Scouts Association of Jamaica has been in full partnership with the government. One of the core values of scouting is to help people. Since the beginning of April, they have been donating five gallons of bleach and disinfectant to Golden Age homes and childcare facilities in each scouting district. They are also willing to provide two medical tents to the government in the event that the hospital emergency room gets oversaturated with persons who need care. And last but not least, the Jamaica Association of Administrative Professionals. The JAF Saint Anne chapter has been in existence since 1975. They are dedicated to professionalism and ensuring that the admin professionals perform at their highest level of integrity. April 22nd is annually celebrated as Admin Professionals Day and this year they decided to share their lives. Instead of celebrating themselves, they offered support and help to the Household Workers Union of Jamaica who are among the vulnerable work groups in this pandemic. Why you may ask? With people staying home, household workers are being laid off. After hearing the cries from Ms. Shirley Price, the president of the Household Workers Union, they took it upon themselves to prepare care packages for them. I love these selfless acts of kindness. Instead of celebrating themselves and allowing others to celebrate them, they decided to step back and highlight other people. Until next time, ensure that you're following the protocols. Let's work together while staying apart. Tanaya Yad.